Hello everybody. We tried to make a I tried to make a video today about how to connect the camera to your phone because I know a lot of people not a lot but some people have a problem with that. So I try to explain to you how to make it really easily and especially explain how the application work itself because the rating on App Store is only two stars and people say it's work really bad. The the pictures won't transfer to the phone. I'll show you there is no problem with the connection and if you do something wrong um, then probably it's not going to connect to your phone or if you do everything that I'm going to show you that may be something wrong with your Wi-Fi module um, on your camera. But first of all I should say the camera I have right now the firmware update um, 101 um, the my phone have updated too so uh, it have uh, don't remember which one but the last one um, on the camera too so let's go I'm gonna wait it's actually nine two one on the phone so all we have to do first is go to menu system and the camera and find the VLN settings pressing right and everything have to look the way it looks right now on the camera here and especially the VLAN mode is supposed to work as a host as you can see uh, there was another option as a client but you don't have to choose client you choose host the backup file settings um, the my work is JPEG you can choose JPEG and MP4 but I guess MP4 if you want to transfer the video also I choose JPEG 4 NFC connection smart and transfer and a setup we don't have to touch that so when connection, right now it's off, we go not the backup, we go to remote control. You can see the QR code is actually came up. Uh, so all we have to do now, it's go in to our like a Q application. You can see it's searching for the Wi-Fi and it's only find my the home Wi-Fi right now. So what we have to do it's actually connect the queue through the QR code. Now we're gonna scan the code from the camera screen and we don't have to touch any buttons. I mean you don't have to touch any buttons. The camera is gonna do everything itself. So focusing. That's it. Now have to install the like a Q profile I guess it's like a Wi-Fi profile so it's yes it's Wi-Fi network profile we press install and now we have to press install again now it's the third time and this is it the profile installed now we press done and whatever it's saying here you can read it but I just tell you that you should go back to uh, general settings here you should go back to your Wi-Fi you can see it's still connected to my home network and now you can see the like a Q profile is came up so we're pressing the like a Q profile a couple seconds and it's gonna connect to like a Q that's it now this screen doesn't go back right now so don't be confused it's all connected but this is going to be the way it is so we go back to our application and now it's searching for camera so still it's sort of connected but now the last one uh, i mean not uh, you have to do the last step before it's connected you, it's to, it's fine to like a queue or wi-fi profile but between the camera and the phone there is no connection still so we press this big uh a green dot top to connect and you can see the connection is established and this is it so now the camera see what the lens see I mean the phone gonna see what's the lens going to see so if we want to make the picture we go to the camera control and we can see what's the lens saying here on the left side you can choose the mode uh, you prefer I choose and I shoot an aperture priority and as you can see it's an aperture priority right now by pressing the aperture this little 
numbers here it's it's actually not now interesting okay there's a little bit of delay but anyway the aperture priority now we press the aperture button come on I think my fingers are kind of cold so it's it you use the aperture priority and now by sliding left of uh, left or right we can choose the aperture we can choose the ISO settings also by pressing trust me it's actually work really well the thing is it's a little cold in the room and my fingers are a little cold it's a little bit of delay so we choose the ISO settings also uh, the exposure compensation uh, auto balance and all we need to uh, all we need to choose by pressing this button we can choose the shutter priority program mode manual mode or the scenes mode uh, so let's say shutter priority to a shutter speed and again ISO and all you need to change um, so right now my camera is set on out of focus single point and you can see it's a single point right here um, so basically by moving the camera you can see the image are changing too on the screen by pressing this button in the middle that's mean it's the same as you pressing the button on the camera right on top of it right here so basically by pressing the the button here the camera go on to focus and release so as you can see everything is works now here some people have they have problem with the settings or transfer the picture i'll show you here the button on the right side on your phone so basically by pressing this first of all you can change all the settings of your camera uh, besides of those that you already have on the screen here uh, there is yes there is a little bit of delay um, that's what you have to deal with but um, besides of all these delays it's actually work really well so let's say you want to change um, the focus and you don't want to uh, go back to your camera so you can change it through your phone uh, so here as you can see the f mode is set on one point f so by going here you can change on touch f which mean you can press I'll show you you can see uh, you can press the focus where you want to focus okay we're going to focus but you still have to release it by itself if you want touch and release you go to touch and release and you have you have this um, blue square so by touching it's going to focusing and releasing right away all this actually um, black dots that you can see right now blinking uh, it's only just because my camera is set on this kind of setting so it's showing the highlights but you can actually uh, get rid of it it's uh, not gonna uh, appear on your screen you also can change anything you want the drive mode uh, continue shooting um, self timer some people say how to set the set the self timer that's how you set the self timer so for 12 seconds for two seconds uh, JPEG resolution um, basically a camera have uh, four pages of um, the menu options and um, the phone have only one um, and only those that you really want to use by shooting the image using the remote control um, transfer the picture you pressing this play button here again a little bit of delay when you're gonna work with the application a little more um, it's just because I erase it and download it again to show you guys how everything works and my phone is actually working a little faster when you get used to it a little bit already uh, so you can see the image here of my cat and I just test shots uh, if you would like to transfer the image on your phone you have to press select you choose the multiply images or just the one image and you press this 
button right here in the middle. You don't press this left one, which is also have this share uh, option, but you press the middle one and you it's going to download it right away and the phone going to create uh, I'm going to show you actually the multiply images also so like one two it's downloaded right away and the phone itself going to create the folder for the like a queue so you don't have to create any folders um, download it complete and go to the photos and then your albums you can find right here in the bottom it says like a queue album and that's all your images that you have and you can use on your iPod and iPad and iPhone um, or any other phones uh, drop it to another application and actually edit it uh, right from your phone or iPad so the one thing I should actually say is you saw I closed the application don't be confused by closing it and don't be afraid that you can connect the camera again if I open this again it's already the like a Q Wi-Fi profile installed so when you open the application it's gonna ask you to connect the like a Q or not if you don't actually um, off your camera yet so you just press this here and it's gonna connect it uh, if you close it you're gonna do it again there is no problem with this connection sometimes uh, it actually freezes and it don't want to work but I guess it's because the camera is sitting really long um, and I set my um, um, the my settings that camera off after the one minute um, without making any picture so I guess if it's sitting for one minute it's kind of off and by pressing any kind of button it just freezes so you have to close the application you have to um, turn off your camera and then just start everything all over again but otherwise if you're using your remote control um, continuously um, there is no problem uh, at all so tap to connect it's connected if you want to disconnect you're pressing this button here and you're choosing by yourself on the camera if you want to disconnect it or not or you're pressing this connect here and it's going to disconnect it if you disconnect uh, you don't have to be confused by try to connect the camera again and I explain you why because when you go into the settings again and choose the VLAN all you have to do it's pretty much doing same thing by pressing remote control and nothing else the QR code is gonna appear again but you don't have to scan it again even if it say right now connect to QR code because again the profile Wi-Fi profile already installed so all you have to do you can go you don't even open your like application right now you can go into general settings first you go to Wi-Fi give it a second and just because you already set everything in the camera it's going to show all the networks that it's actually have um, and here is the like a queue so pressing like a queue the phone gonna find the Wi-Fi connection go into like a queue application connect to like a queue and again connection established everything works so you go into like a queue album right here in the phone you go into your camera control and this is it thanks very much guys